Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about arithmetic coding. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So, for understanding this arithmetic coding, here I am going to explain with an example. So, a source emits the symbols. A, B, C, D with the probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 respectively. Construct arithmetic coding to encode and decode the word DAD. There is nothing but D, A, D. So for this D, A, D we have to encode and decode by using this arithmetic coding. So the symbol probabilities and their corresponding subranges are shown in this table. So here we have the symbols A, B, C, D is there and their probabilities are given as 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 respectively. And the subranges of these symbols A, B, C, D is given as for A it is given as 0 0.02, 0 0.4. This is the subrange of this symbol A. There is nothing but already we know that the probability which will be varied from 0 to 1 between these values so for the symbol a it is given as 0 0.4 so the sub range will be 0 0.02 0 0.4 and for the symbol b the probability is given as 0 0.2 so here the symbol a is ended with the sub range as 0 0.4 then the symbol b will be started with the sub range as 0 0.4 that will be added to this uh, probability 0 0.2 so that we will get 0 0.6 this is the sub range of this symbol b there is nothing but 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 so here this symbol b is ended with the sub range 0 0.6 so that will be the starting of this symbol c so here the symbol c has the probability as 0 0.1 so 0 0.6 plus 0 0.1 you will get that 0 0.7 so this is the range of this uh, symbol c and for d the sub range will be started from 0 0.7 to 1.0 because this symbol C is ended with the sub range 0.7. So this 0.7 is the starting of uh, symbol D sub range. So this 0.7 plus 0.3 you will get that 1. So here the probability which will be changed from 0 to 1. So these are all the sub ranges of the symbols A, B, C, D with the probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and uh, 0 0.3 respectively. So now we will go for this arithmetic coding. So in this uh, we will go for first uh, encoding process. So in this encoding process the step 1. So our object 2 here is to encode the word dad. So initially the range of intervals is assumed to be between 0 to 1 because the probability will be changed from 0 to 1 already we know that. So the individual range in the interval 0 to 1 is shown in below in this figure. So here we have the symbols A, B, C, D is there. So for the symbol A, the sub range is 0 0.0 to 0 0.4 and for B, it is 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 and for the symbol C, it will be 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 and for D, it is from 0 0.7 to 1.0. So it is given in the table clearly. And next the step 2. So in the step 2, we have sub steps will be there. So the sub steps are that step 2A. So in the step 2a, the first symbol to transmit is D because in the word dad, the first symbol we have to transmit that is D. So hence uh, the new range is from 0 0.7 to 1.0 which is shown in below that is here the first symbol we have to transmit D. So the new range is given from 0 0.7 to 1.0 and next uh, step 2b. So in this. Uh, we have to find the sub range for each symbol in between the intervals 0 0.7 and 1.0 that is here within this range 0 0.7 to 1.0 we have to find out the intervals of this symbol a b c and d so for this one we have to use two formulas low and high intervals so here the low interval is given as low plus range into low range and for high interval it is given as high equal to low plus range into high range so here this low range and high range is nothing but the 
interval values of these symbols a b c d so here for the symbol a the low range is 0 and for symbol a the high range is 0 0.4 and for b the low range is 0 0.4 and high range is 0 0.6 and for c it is 0 0.6 and high range is 0 0.7 and for d it is 0 0.7 and uh, high range is 1.0 these are the low and high ranges of the symbols of a b c d so like that we have to calculate this low and high ranges and next in the step 2b so to compute interval for the symbol a in the interval 0.7 to 1.0 first we have to do that the range is determined so the range is given as that is 1.0 minus 0.7 that is as 0.3 so here this is the 0 0.7 and 1.0 so 1.0 minus 0 0.7 you will get that range as 0 0.3 so that is here we got that 1.0 minus 0 0.7 that equal to 0 0.3 so using the formula already we given for low and high range calculation so by using these two formulas here by using these two formulas we have to calculate that low and high intervals so here the lower interval is given as first one is that low value so here we have the low value is 0 0.7 and next uh, uh, the range is given as 0 0.3 and the low range of the symbol a is given as 0, 0.0 so by doing this one you will get that low value as 0 0.7 here and next we have to calculate that high interval so high interval is given as low plus range into high range so here we got that low value for the symbol a as 0 0.7 plus the range here we got that 0.3 so here it is a 0.3 and high range for the symbol a is given as here we have that 0.4 so by doing this calculation you will get that 0.82 so for the symbol a the low and high intervals will be given as 0.7 and 0.82 so within this new range 0.7 and 1.0 so like this uh, we have to calculate for the symbol b and for symbol c and for symbol d so by calculating the low interval for this symbol b is given as 0.7 that is the low because here we have the low value here it is 0 0.7 plus uh, the range is given as 0 0.3 here we have that range is 0 0.3 that is 1.0 minus 0 0.7 you will get that 0 0.3 so into 0 0.4 so for this symbol b for the symbol b the lower range value is here we have 0 0.4 that is why here it is given as 0 0.4 so by calculating this one the low interval for this symbol b is given as 0 0.82 and next one the high interval is given as 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.6 because for the symbol b the high interval value as 0 0.6 so by doing this one you will get that 0 0.88 so for this symbol b the low and high interval is given as 0 0.82 and 0 0.88 and for the symbol c the low range here we have that 0 0.6 and the high range is given as 0 0.7 just substitute those values in low and high intervals formulas so that you will get that 0 0.88 and 0 0.91 so for the symbol c the range will be given as 0 0.88 and 0 0.91 so the remaining thing will be for symbol d so for the new range of interval 0 0.7 to 1.0 we got that a b c d intervals sub ranges that is for a it is 0 0.7 to 0 0.82 for b it is 0 0.8 to 0 0.88 and for c it is 0 0.88 to 0 0.91 and for d it is given as 0 0.91 to 1.0 so this is the the first symbol which is transmitted as d and the next we have step 3 is there so in the step 3 within this dad the next symbol which is transmitted is a so the next symbol to be transmitted in the word dad is a hence the new interval is 0 0.7 to 0 0.7 to 0 0.82 which is illustrated below so here next the new range will be that 0 0.7 to 0 0.82 so within this new range 0 0.7 to 0 0.82 we have to calculate the intervals for the symbols a b c d 
so for the symbol a first we have that calculate that low range and high range within this new range 0.7 to 0.82 so the formulation is given as low equal to low plus range into low range so here for this uh, symbol a the range is given as 0.7 to 0.82 so this is the low range and this is the high range so the low range here it is 0.7 and the range will be calculated as 0.82 minus 0.7 so 0.8 minus 0.7 you will get that the range as 0.12 so low equal to 0.7 plus 0.12 into the range of the symbol a the low range of this symbol a here it is a 0 so that is why 0, 0.0 you will get that 0 0.7 and for the upper interval you will get that 0 0.7 plus 0 0.12 into 0 0.4 this is the high range of this symbol a for the symbol a the high range here it is 0 0.4 so that is why here you will get that by doing this calculation 0 0.748 so this is for the symbol a within this new range from 0 0.7 to 0 0.82 so for this symbol a the new range now we have 0 0.7 to 0 0.748 and next like this we have to calculate for the symbol b so for the symbol b the new range you got that is that 0 0.748 to 0 0.772 so by doing this uh, low and high interval calculation and next uh, we'll go for the symbol c so for the symbol c it is given as 0 0.77 to 0 0.784 by doing these calculations so the remaining thing will be for the symbol d and after transmitting this symbol a the next symbol we have to transmit in the word dad is again we have d so in step 4 to transmit the symbol d in the word dad we have to consider the interval from 0 0.784 and 0 0.82 so here for this d here we have 0 0.784 to 0 0.82 so first we have the d is there and next a and after that we have d so d a d nothing but dad which is coded by using this arithmetic coding so now we have to calculate the tag value so by using this tag value only we can decode this dad so here the tag is the average of the lower and upper intervals so here the lower interval is 0 0.784 and the upper interval is 0 0.82 so by taking the average of these uh, values you will get the tag value as 0 0.802 so here this is the lower interval and this is the upper interval by taking this average you will get the tag value as 0 0.802 so this is the encoding process of this dad by using this arithmetic coding so this is the encoding of this dad by using this arithmetic coding so when you are decoding this dad by using this arithmetic coding here by using this tag values only we can decode this dad in the decoding process for this one the tag is very important so now in this decoding procedure so the tag value and the symbol probabilities will be sent to the receiver so here we have the symbol probabilities will be there the symbol probabilities are 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 respectively and the tag value here we got it is 0 0.802 so the step by step procedure of decoding is given below so in the first step one the tag is received by the receiver is 0 0.802 the initial interval is assumed to be in between 0 to 1 already we know that the interval will be changed from 0 to 1 and the tag value is given as 0 0.802 so the tag value is compared with the symbol sub range we find that 0 0.802 lies between 0 0.7 and 1.0 hence the corresponding decoded symbol is d because this 0 0.802 lie in the range of 0 0.7 to 1.0 so the corresponding symbol with that probability is d here so that will be decoded and next step two so the decoded symbol in step one is d and hence the new interval is fixed as 0 0.7 to 1.0 which is illustrated below that is the new range here it is given for this 0 0.7 to 1.0 and in step 3 we have to calculate that new tag value so the new tag value is uh, computed in the step 
the new tag value is given by t star equal to tag minus low by range so here the low value is 0.7 and the range is given as 1.0 minus 0.7 which is nothing but 0.3 and hence you will get that the tag value here it is 0.802 minus 0.7 by 0.3 which is given as 0.34 so which is the new tag value so that is the symbol a has the ranges from 0.0 to 0.4 so here the for the symbol a the range will be 0.0 to 0.4 the tag value you got it as 0.34 then the corresponding symbol will be that a because this 0.34 which will be in the range of 0.0 to 0.4 so the symbol a will be decoded and next we have to again calculate the new tag value so the new tag value here it is given as tag minus low by range so here the tag value is 0.34 and for the symbol a the low value is given as 0 so 0 by the range value is given as 0 0.4 minus 0 0.0 so that you will get that 0 0.4 so here 0 0.4 so you will get the tag value as 0 0.85 so this tag value within the range 0 0.7 to 1.0 then the symbol d will be decoded automatically so the following steps uh, 1 2 3 and 5 it is clear that the decoded word is dad so like this by using this arithmetic coding we can encode and decode thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education